What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get the Foundation's Mythic MK7 Assault Rifle and showing off some gameplay of how effective this weapon is in game. If you guys do enjoy this video, please do remember to give it a like, subscribe if you would like to see more. Also check the description down below because there will be a link to my second channel where I also post Fortnite content pretty much daily. So if you want to stay as up to date as possible on Fortnite news, tips, and tricks, make sure to follow both this channel and my secondary channel which will be linked in the description. Thanks for watching. So like pretty much all mythic weapons, to get it, you have to kill the person who owns it. And this is the Foundation's Mythic MK7 Assault Rifle. So you have to kill find this by killing the Foundation at the Sanctuary POI. So he actually walks around the POI quite a bit. And if there are any other henchmen nearby, they will join the fight and help him. So it's kind of best that you fight him while he's on the outskirts of the POI, while there are no other henchmen nearby. Sanctuary itself is a pretty large POI, so there's a very wide distance that he can be in. And it's also best to make sure you kill a lot of the other players before trying to kill him, because the foundation has a lot of HP. It takes a while to kill him. Spray weapons work best, like the MK7, the Ranger, or the SMG. Kind of want as many of these going into the fight as you can, because the reload speeds on a lot of these weapons in chapter 3 season 1 are really bad so I, I should have had some gameplay playing of me fighting the foundation and you can see how much HP he has obviously you want to make sure that the POI is clear beforehand and that there's no henchmen nearby that are going to join the fight because the foundation does have a lot of HP and he does do a lot of damage if he ends up hitting you he like throws these boulders at you and he hit my friend with it and after that I think my friend was like 10 HP or something like that so he does hit very hard and he has a lot of HP I think it'll be pretty hard to get this weapon in solos consistently it's not like the old bosses were where it's just like really easy to just run up to Midas off spawn and have the mythic drum gun I think you definitely want to like put more time and thought into how you fight the foundation because he does have a lot of health uh, if you guys found this helpful I'm gonna let some gameplay show off how OP this weapon is it is really good it, it's really really powerful uh it's basically the MK7 assault rifle, which is already really overpowered in my opinion, with less recoil, even though it barely has any recoil anyways, more damage, a faster fire rate, and a faster reload speed. So pretty much this weapon got better in every single way possible, and it reloads faster, so you could just spray through people's builds even more and just be even more annoying with this weapon than you already can be with the MK7. I think a lot of people are going to complain about this, and if you want to use it, Got to go to the sanctuary and kill the foundation. One interesting thing is that you can actually store this in tents and then get it in later games. So you could land at the sanctuary one game, kill the foundation, put it in a tent, back out or play that game to completion and die, and then land at a completely different POI and pull it from a tent off spawn. Uh, it's pretty crazy the things you can do with the tents and some of these like mythic and exotic weapons. And it'll be interesting to see how these things are potentially changed or balanced over time. But that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to have some more games showing off, like me using this assault rifle in-game because I got it a few times today. I think it's really good. I think it's really overpowered, but that's kind of par for the course for Mythics. Let me know what you think of this Mythic down in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more. And like I already said, my second channel will be linked in the description. So I would appreciate it if you would check that out. Dude, my game is so laggy. I don't know if you guys just saw that. Did Agent Jonesy die? Like, I'm not sure why devs still put motion blur and shit like that in the game. Third parties are here. And with like that, he just healed away all the damage I did to him.
Nice, he has the mythic one. The mythic uh, MK is ridiculous, so. I'm surprised he got it. I think killing the guy would actually be kind of hard in solos. Like he had so much HP. This meta is so garbage. Like, this game feels so much like Warzone now, and it's not just like the ADS AR, which is like, oh, there's an ADS weapon and they're sliding. So a lot of people be like, oh, it's like Warzone. But just like the how much positioning matters in comparison to everything else now is so annoying. And that's how Warzone was too. Because it was so easy to kill people on that, that just like whoever had the better positioning, like endgame was gonna win. And that's how it feels now with everybody having the ADSAR and everybody having snipers. Like, you just need to be in the right spot at all times. You can't just win because you're better than people, I feel like, with how the meta revolves around snipers and like a spray AR. I said those big bushes are still in the game too. Alright, sweet. We should be able to heal now. I just wanted to fry him a little bit so that way he wouldn't push me while I heal. He might still push me because some people have like the brain capacity of like a fly. Crazy, man. If snipers are ever in the game, it's the most broken thing in the world. Like, they can nerf the ammo capacity. They could add flinch. They could nerf the drop rate. There's two guys. One's here, and the other's, like, directly underneath me. Dude, just tries to snipe me while I'm spraying him. I would have liked to have killed this guy. Because then I would have only had to be worried about one angle. Now I have to be worried about both, and this guy's just gonna throw out snipe shots and not do anything else. Like, he's also just gonna try to pre-aim me through the wall. That was only 21 fall damage for him. I don't know where he is, but I just heard him somewhat recently. He's right here.
I don't think my SMG's loaded. It feels so laggy, bro. Like, like everything feels so laggy. I cannot see the zone at all. And it feels... It, like, I just wish my game didn't feel laggy. Like, even just, like, moving my character feels so laggy right now. Nice. Jeez, that was so awkward. I like that was a lame way to win, but like I said, the game just felt so laggy. Like it's one thing for builds or whatever to feel laggy in a chaotic fight, but when even your movement just feels like delayed, it's so chalked. 